Today we will be creating a new table using columns from an existing table using a subquery. In step 1, we query our existing table to retrieve the expected columns. In this example, our existing table is employees. Here we will query the employees table to retrieve our expected columns, which are employee ID, last name and salary. In step 2, we modify the query to add any necessary new column names to the selected columns. Here, EMP ID is the new column name for employee ID. EMP name is the new column name for last name. And the salary column is unchanged. In step 3, we write a new query to create a table and use the previous query as a subquery to insert data in the new table. Here EMP name is the new table name. Note, when creating a table through a subquery, the data type of the selected columns are replicated in the new table. Any relational constraints present in the existing table are not automatically applied to the new table. To enforce any relational constraints, they must be added using the altered table statement after the table creation. In step 4, we check the newly created table. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe.